Hey Vector Tuts Plusers, it's Ryan back for another quick tip. In fact, my first quick tip of the summer. I'm really excited because today we're going to be creating some Vector Camp badges in Adobe Illustrator CS6. That's right, it's my first Illustrator quick tip in CS6. I'm very excited to jump in and get started. For the base of this file, I'm going to be using an icon set called Pictos, and that's by a designer called Drew Wilson. Drew's a great guy. Go pick up this icon set. It's really cheap, and you'll be supporting a good cause. Um, and what I've done is I've just modified them a little bit here. You can see the heart has a little reflection I've put in. The music symbol, I've made a second one and made it uh, a different type of note with the hole in it. The trees, I've separated the trunk from the actual branches. And I've added some wood for the fire, you know, just to give them all a little bit more um, badgy like feel. So we'll say this is the caregiver badge, this is a music uh, wunderkind badge, this is a, you know, you planted a tree badge, and this one is making a fire badge. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by just making the base of all of our badges. So I'll just make a circle. That's kind of large enough to encompass them all. And that's going to be our background color. So I'll make it green for now. Next, I'll do Command-C and Command-F. Size another one up a little bit more. And make it very light gray. Now, I know that's hard to see. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like in pink. But again, we're going to go back to very light gray uh, on that one. Finally, let's give this background uh, a different color for each. So with this base that we've just created, I want to also select this. <clears throat> now we're going to do a little bit of a shadow underneath this. So select your larger circle, hit Command C and Command F again. Let's paste in place. Size that one just sideways down. So you see I'm maintaining the height. I'm kind of shrinking it so it's a little bit more oval. We're going to color that black. Just hold down Shift on your keyboard and tap it down once. Just make it go underneath. So you see how that is creating a little shadow lip there. That's exactly the look you want. Now I'm going to take this and do one Alt-Drag and make four copies of that. That's perfect. Now let's put our symbols inside of each one. What I'll do first is select all these and do Command Shift left bracket so they go underneath everything, right? Fire and logs, you're going in here. Trees, our tree planter badge, if you will. Our music band uh, badge. One time at band camp, am I right? Um, that's a terrible joke, so I apologize immediately for it. <laughs> so uh, we're going to put gradients inside each one of these, and I really encourage you just to pick colors uh, that you think look cool. I mean, it's, you know, sky's the limit. Uh, the fire one, I'm going to give kind of uh, maybe a yellowy, orangey glow to. Um, so that way it uh, seems really, really warm. We'll do radial. That looks pretty cool. I'm also going to take this and bring it up a little bit and just size it up. Yeah, that's perfect. So now these three, I want the exact same gradient going on. So I'll just use the eyedropper. And I will also take these, put them a little bit higher, scale them up. That's perfect. Now, I could have done this uh, back when I made the first one. Um, but, you know, to be honest, at that point, I hadn't decided uh, what type of gradient I was going to have. So when you do stuff like this, just make it kind of natural, organic feeling. Don't say, okay, something needs to happen at a particular set time. I think that's forcing it and that's not going to create the best stuff. So now what we're going to do is start coloring in 
each of our badges. We're going to take these two logs and they're going to be brown. And our fire here will make that totally red. And we probably want the fire to sit on top. Now that's not bad. What we're also going to do is with these select all three and do command C and command F. So now we basically have two copies of this. Now why are we doing that? I'm going to show you. First we're going to ungroup them. And then we're going to give them a gradient. And that gradient's going to be over here. Just your typical black and white gradient. And we're going to position each gradient to where shading is going to be. We're going to make these logs get darker on the bottom and lighter at the top. Same thing with this one. And the fire is going to do lighter at the top, darker at the bottom. Now once we have our gradients done, select all three and go to Effect, Texture. Now you can see it's only previewing one here. Uh, that's just Illustrator being a little bit stubborn with us. But we're going to choose here for our grain, like a nice intense grain, drive the contrast up, and then we can choose another type. Stippled is great. We'll hit OK. Now that we have the stippled grain on here, we're going to change its transparency mode to multiply. You can see what that does. It kind of gives it a fun little uh, shading effect, but it also uh, gives it a grain. Overlay is kind of an interesting uh, look to these two. So maybe you want to consider overlay. I kind of like the way uh, overlay is looking with that. What I'm going to do is ungroup my flame and logs underneath and see if I can bring the flame all the way up above it. I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to click off. In this gradient back here, we're going to basically do the same thing. So we're going to hit Command C and Command F effect. And we'll just hit Apply Grain. And then we're going to go see what overlay looks like there. That's a little much. Multiply, that looks pretty good. And this opacity, let's bring it down to like 50%. No, that's even too strong. 20% looks good. So that's one badge that's almost complete. We're going to do some finishing touches now. We're going to take our outermost circle, Command C, Command F, paste in place. Bring that to the front. Change it to stroke only. Then we're going to give it a dashed line. And this is almost going to be stitching, if you will. So choose a color that's going to match but be a little contrasty on your background. In this case I think somewhere in the reds or browns will stand out. Perfect. And that even seems like not enough dashes so I'm going to turn down the dash in the stroke palette down to say 6. That looks a little bit better. And you can imagine you can select this Command C Command F make it a little bit bigger and then take the dash down to say 5 and do like a double stitching effect. On the outside here we're going to take this shadow as well then we'll go to effect, blur, and Gaussian blur. Let's see what a preview of that looks like. That's pretty good. We'll hit OK. Let's size it up to be a little bit wider. That's perfect. Then I'm going to put it in a multiply mode and crank that down to about 50%. So you can see our badge has a nice natural shadow to it. Once you have that going, I'm pretty excited to go and do the rest. Um, I'm going to just repeat that same technique. And we'll come back when we're all done and uh, review what we did. So, um, here we go.
All right, guys, it looks like we're ready to go camping. That's it. That's some vector camping badges. Pretty simple, pretty easy, and a nice reusable effect you can use for a lot of different projects. So I hope you uh, took something away from this. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time, guys. And hey, if you get a chance, pick up Illustrator CS6. Some of the new features are really, really, really cool, and I'm sure Adobe would love that I'm selling it to you right now. So until I see you guys again, have a great summer, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye, everybody.